<laughs> but let's go to a quick angle of 320-something ice skaters who were testing out the ice when they saw B and Kia breeze past uh -oh. them doing a cool 30 miles an hour going the wrong way <laughs> down a frozen river. Uh, here we here we go. <laughs> yeah, definitely He's skating oh, under shit. an overpass. <laughs> Yo. That is incredible. That's it's so ballsy. <laughs> oh my God. It's Three eggs. Are the wheels not turning? Is she just breaking the whole way? You are! There it is. Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. And welcome to episode 1112 of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. Leeds United plays Manchester City at noon Pacific time. Uh, and Mark has Waffle House related and other history repeating itself in the cup of coffee in the big time. That's right. Hopefully, uh, Man City whooping our ass isn't repeating itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that's not uh, one of the things. Probably will be, though. But yeah, why, we want, why we want that? We MOT. Don't, we don't oh, we want don't, that. We don't want we to don't get relegated. We don't want that. No, we, we don't, don't want Man City. Want, I kind of want to get relegated. No. Uh, no. Just kick. Yeah, I mean, well, you would, we would dominate. Yeah. We would dominate. We would dominate That's what I'm saying. Big fish, it's small true. pond. Yeah. Now, being at the bottom of the pile is very Colt McCoy, so I like being at the bottom of the pile. But no, being at the top yeah. of the smaller pile. You if we get relegated, dudes, you, you, full, would full lose disclosure, Erickson, you lose a lot of players. Full disclosure, if we get relegated, I am no longer a Leeds United fan. I will be only Inter Milan, and I'll, I'll pick another EPL team that's still Don, until the Until they go back to the EPL. Right, I'll go yeah. back to Leeds if they get back yeah. in the top. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but, <laughs> but who's your Division Two team? That's the question. Who's your Champions League uh, team? It'll be, it'll be Leeds. It'll, it'll be Leeds then, but I'm not. That's what I'm know, saying. That's, that's a passive too. support. That's a passive support. You don't I'm really with Pat. care. Dominating is fuck. dominating is way more fun. I, I, yeah, you can't I, watch yeah. the games. I don't think on those TV. are on TV, guys. You can't bet on them. You can't watch story. the games on TV. Yeah. No, it's not. It's I'm not the watching worst those games possible. anyway. It's just wow. the worst. Well, okay. So you guys who don't care about the team want it to get relegated. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, no, it I does. care. I yeah, want them to get watch relegated. You care so much, you want them to get relegated to the lower league. I just want to see fun. I want them to play well. Care. I want them to win. That's I can actually care, care more than you, actually, is what it yeah. sounds like. So I want you want to just keep raining. You just want to keep raining and want the floods to get worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Just want to feel we something. Should, we should I'm ask just the people just that live there to see how many of them want it to get yeah, relegated. That to live get in the relegated town. to the lower yeah. tier and lose all of their international supporters. That'd be right. good for them. Uh, Wes is on Not deck us. with, with uh, great news for South Koreans. Great news. South Korean men. Well, I mean... They've got a tough time. They've got a tough time over there. Usually, really, this everybody. is good news for them. But yeah, especially the men. Uh, I'm in the hole, kind of like the South Korean men, uh, with uh, bad news lightning round, and uh, Pat is closing it out with some mishaps on the frozen canals of Indianapolis. And Pat has a guest podcaster with him uh, on this show. Pat, we have a very please sad please boy. Him. We have a very sad boy on the show today. Hey, he loves he is very curious. He's having a hard day, guys. We left his blanket at daycare. No oh, blanket when he got home. We're real pieces of shit. So I'm why paying, don't the uh, why don't isn't that on the people you pay thousands of dollars to a month? To no, they got a lot to worry no. about. OK, no, they don't do anything for you at all to prepare you like I mean, they do during they the don't day hand you the blanket. He's screaming no, no, you for. you have to go. No, you have to go into the the usually a cubby of some sort. Pat, what's uh -huh. it? Yeah, a drove cubby back scenario. I don't know. I've cubby. never been in there. They don't let me in there because of covid. I, I it, it oh, you can't go in the like room. A, a Russian it could be a Russian gulag in there. I don't know, man. Never been in there. You can't go in the room. Dude, you've never place, been in there. Whoa. Your place is a scam. They got all these biting accusations and no one's they allowed in. The, they got these kids generating so. energy for all I know. I don't know. Yeah. It, could be an, it could be an energy The parents energy aren't farm. allowed in the room? Do they have cameras you can watch? They do have cameras, but specifically, and I understand. Can, can we get some bite footage? Can we get some bite footage, Pat? 
Yeah. No, so is it possible? okay. So the first the first daycare we toured, <laughs> should have it's a, a popular thing. I don't I don't know if they had it when 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 um your boy was reel. this age or not, but it's a thing now. I don't know if they had it when your boy was this age. I mean, they may have, but it's a thing now. I know Will's probably toured it when he was touring the daycares. It's a thing where you can like you know w- like you can watch your pet at home right with a pet. Yes, cat. we had that. a lot yeah, of daycares. Right. Okay. So the first one we rolled into had that. Second one we rolled in way better, and the lady was like. Look at all these cameras. You'll never see them. And I was like, "What? Oh, okay. I kind of vibe on that. Unless there's like, an cause inc- if you see them, there's heli- oh. unless there's an incident, because there's helicopter parents all day. That's why. Because right. we would be helicoptering. But, but if, if a bite's an incident, shouldn't we have tape on it? And we could rate that bite. Yeah. We could do a yeah. segment yeah. called Rate That Bite. There's tape. Look, well, look, I'll be honest with you. If he gets they won't expelled share from school, you, that's a seven. You, you'll never hear he, his one file. He's, he's one bite away. I'm going to demand the file. But that's, that's going to be the trade. No, they won't. They right. want the file stays. Yeah. Release, if they kick you out, you need the file. You release the file. Shit. Otherwise, You'll it's all never hearsay. Get the file. Yeah. I'm telling you, the 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 one time we request take a the word of a two year old. No, it's a walk <laughs> into the office situation. It's a here. You can see it. You can see for yourself, and that's it. And you don't. They don't hand you that file. You kidding? Oh, that's bullshit. All right, they let's don't do. do that. Gotta get that, that file. The get the we'll file. Pat. That get file. the file. Rate that, but I'm gonna have to do a lot of blurring. Rate that bite. <laughs> yeah. you know, Cup of coffee in the big time. All right. I uh, got a few jokes for you before we get to the top stories. Um, mm-hmm. Here we go. First up, we have a joke here from Father Brian that says, just got scammed out of $25. Bought Tiger Woods DVD entitled My Favorite 18 Holes. Turns out it's about golf. Absolute <laughs> waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> you love them all, Woodsy. Uh, and then here's what I, I love I found. that that's I love that's from Father Brian. Yeah, he wants his name read, so he got it. Uh, and here's one I found that'll put uh, him out of the jack- his ass out of the jackpot. This one's a little bit more godly intense. needs. Yeah, yeah. this uh, yeah, it's, it's, at Christmas is over, so he can get away with it now. Uh, this one uh, I found perusing the internet. So it's going to take it up even a notch from there. It says, uh, "Did you know that when pigeons have sex, they die?" And then someone goes, "Really?" And then he goes, "Well, the one I fucked did." <laughs> come on set I mean, the tone for today this guy's fucking so hard pigeons. to catch a pigeon it's awesome might as well i didn't know either but the one i fucked it all right um so we're ending the year like we started it in a that, bad that way that brings up mark uh, real yeah. quick before we move on to the to the year in summary that brings up a great saying still fucking that chicken right well if yeah. you, a pigeon would be dead you can't still what fuck is that a pigeon, exactly right? It's, 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 it's like dying like, it's like dying on a hill right you want it's you, you, you you're beating a dead horse yeah yeah that, 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 horse. You're, that guy's still fucking that pigeon he won't g- ever give up on this one thing he's, it's he's, a take yeah. that like uh most people don't agree with that you're still kind of you're awesome. still so fucking plen- that chicken yeah. they're so plentiful right well chicken Man, you can, you can do a few so times. many sayings come from farming like almost all of them. They're all like almost well, all saying farmers yeah, farm love based. to fuck chickens. Though. Farmers get up early. They're awake all day and they have, you know, great witty retorts. You know, they, mm-hmm. what can you say? Uh, put, well, I guess yeah. you're going to get two of these. You're going to get two of these bad news lightning rounds. So I'm living on the edge of a lightning bolt and I do not apologize for that. Double. That's right. That's right. It's a lightning round of uh, stories that started started the year bad and they're coming back around and, you know, yes. ending it bad again. So Southwest Airlines has canceled well over 50 percent of their flights the last four days. They canceled over 70 percent of their flights on Monday or almost 3000 flights across the U.S. Uh, so no one got home after the holidays that w- that was like flying Southwest. Did you guys see how bad yeah. it's been? It was, yeah. it was yeah, so but bad. Do you really want to fly in a fucking blizzard? I mean, like, do you, people, like, uh, do you really West, want to fly? So no, 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 Wes, 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 why are only 20 flights canceled from United, the second highest? Exactly, 3,000 exactly. are canceled so, from Southwest. It, only no, Southwest more, they care more is about flying your life? through blizzards. No. Are you serious, no, no, no. Wes? Are you Wes, serious? It's, Wes, it's so bad that so Spirit, was, Spirit was trending because people were talking about how much better than Southwest yeah. Spirit is. Also, so notice that, that's, no, that's, notice that yeah. Southwest flies predominantly not in blizzard areas in the southwestern parts of the United States. Right. No yeah. Southwest. This isn't Northwest <laughs> Airlines. This isn't Alaskan <laughs> Airlines. Also, 
Think about the it. The name West. says it all. It, yeah. <laughs> it, there's only there's only one thing for you to overcome if you're flying in a blizzard, and that's getting to where you're going. As long as you do that, it's the exact same as flying not in a blizzard. Like it's not like so, it's not like there are flurries in your face in the air. You know what I mean? It turns like, out you take a cab ice. there. <laughs> you take a cab the, there. The runways are the plane. Visibility's gotta, low. No, so are you no driving the fucking fly. plane? There's no, no other I don't, want, I don't want the guy that's flying the plane to have any kind of impeding factors on his eyes. Or no, the plane. airlines are having an issue by south, besides Southwest, and they tried to go with the weather route, which tricked a few people like yeah, West, but it didn't trick everyone. Yeah. Uh, well, well West is you got to you got to everybody, all the listeners. You have to know this about West. No, to he, understand this argument, he's a huge weather, weather radar guy. He, oh, if you yeah. ask Wes any time, hmm. what, what's the weather in, like hmm. in the vicinity? He knows. So if he's, so he's Southwest could text him on one radar image that looked a little off, and he'd be like, "I'm glad you canceled it. Ground him. I don't need Thank to see you, Southwest. Ground him. Yeah. I ground him. Well, here's the thing. A little bit more research what? went into it. It turns out yeah, he's obsessed with the weather. It, it turns out, guys, that Southwest <laughs> is just having a, a real tough time operationally. They don't know where their planes are. Like geographically, they don't know where their crews are. They don't know how <laughs> to get. Their computer systems fucked up. They they're don't know what's going on. Losing their planes in the air. Yeah. They're they're no, they're losing them like on the grounds. Like they Track don't know down. what state they're in. They their don't know database what city they're in. Up, they don't so. know which crew is supposed to be on the planes, and they uh, they're having like a, a an app <laughs> failure and an all systems <laughs> failure, and they're scrambling, and it's getting worse and worse because of all the cancellations. Here's a picture of Denver Airport where. Courtney UN says this is baggage claim at Denver Airport. Customers of at Southwest say line uh, line to rebook is over three hours long. Some have been stranded for days, unable to get a rent rental car or hotel via flight aware. Three hundred seventy six canceled Southwest flights at Denver. The next most is United with twenty two cancellations. Mm. And then she <laughs> there's a there's a video that I'm not going to mm. play, but it's just lines of luggage that's unclaimed from Southwest till the eye can see thousands and thousands of bags that are just gone missing in the airports mm. i guess that's what you get for wanting a funny flight attendant yeah that's yeah. what southwest the ukuleles has. yeah yeah i, I, I mean, wanted to have the ukulele experience they have pride and heart not, i wanted not to fly year, southwest but... on my birthday so they could sing happy birthday to me no yeah. you know what southwest <laughs> honestly southwest southwest lost me during the pandemic they were one of the few airlines that canceled booze during the pandemic fuck them for that and they, this and is they what, all this did, is what though. you get and no, they seats, did not all. They, all they did not all. Tightened up. They all. Seats, they did not all. Tightened up quick. Now they have uh, the transportation U.S. Transportation Department looking into what they're if what they're doing is criminal. They got they got Buttigieg on their asses now. Mayor Pete, the head of the uh, tr Transportation Department, is now looking into what Southwest is doing being criminal. Not like even like they they might not get away with it. They're, it's bad. It's bad over there, at Southwest. By the way. Anyone else flying Southwest in eight days for Taylor's wedding, or is that just me? Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, spirit. Spirit. Thankfully, uh, spirit. Thankfully, <laughs> spirit. Never they say this that. might take weeks to clear up, so yeah. I might have to rebook a flight. Never been happy uh, to, have, uh, have, to have oh, the exit no. row on Spirit flight. You know the best part about Spirit is that you can buy your seats a la carte. So, like, no matter how crappy the flight could be, you can pick your exact seat on every plane and pay a price for it. They there's a price for spirit. There's a price for everything. That oh, should be their well, slogan. Nothing you, beats the spirit. Big. I mean, big technically seats. every airline is spirit, that way, but spirit seats. really lets you know. They let you know. Right. Like down to the dollar. <laughs> like I want this fucking exit row seat. Oh, you like, want down that? To the I feel, I feel yeah. awkward even so, talking really about deal with spirit these. big seats because yeah. I feel like I want to keep it a secret. The spirit big seats, spirit first class, very affordable. It's the best seat. In this. <laughs> Spirit's uh, like stop. a contractor. Is what they, they're yeah, like a home contractor. Yeah, right. it's like oh, flying. The, you want the you want the marble Stop. backsplash, huh? <laughs> but not spirits budget. looking, spirits ticking up. <laughs> Southwest turning out. It's Stop me if you've overage. heard this one before. Probably, probably you've heard this from Will Will on this show before. Uh, the economy sucks to end the year, just like it did at the start of the year. Will sent us this text in a group chat earlier uh, today. I don't know if I have the exact image up. Um, I was about the we missed our manufacturing goal. It's like breaking market news. Load. Dallas right. Fed manufacturing business index actual negative eighteen point eight forecast negative fifteen uh, dollar sign macro. Now I had to look up what that means, uh, even though I was a finance major. But apparently, it's saying the factory activity in Texas, the entire state, like the output, orders, prices, and other factory indicators, are worse than expected by three point eight something percent. 
something. Yeah, I great. couldn't tell if that's percents or what. Like, yeah. what is that? Three point eight low number units of uh, <laughs> units. Yeah, they were so off we're, on. We're lazy. The state of Texas. Is that what yeah. they're saying? No, oh, no, yeah, West, we're not doing like, well. The last quarter is going to be down. People, yeah. people are thinking like that. Maybe the economy was swinging back up. It's looking like the last quarter was down. Down. So. Well, here I have it for further explanation. This should this should clear it up. I found a Will's burner account at Flying Silver Cat who says on Twitter, "But we're not in a recession, right, guys?" That's a good point. <laughs> that is Will's burner. That's, That's Will's burner, right, guys? We got a new burner. Yeah. What's going to be in a recession? Could we? <laughs> yeah, but we're not What's in a recession, name? right, guys? At Flying Silver Cat. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely one of mine. Oh yeah. no, the government wouldn't lie to us about that, now would they? <laughs> no. They ever done that before? No. Three point eight what? Three point eight what? Um, another hit from earlier this year, and I'm obviously uh, being sarcastic, is the iOS phone, iPhone update on new phones, like the 14s, I think, for automatic crash detection. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Right, feature if you're in a car you crash. Roller accident. coasters were setting yeah. them off. Right. Like the guy who fell off the cliff that Pat did the other week. And like, yeah, mm -hmm. roller coasters. Exactly. So like uh, we covered how it's fucking up all over the places and walks of life that Apple didn't even think to test like theme parks and roller coasters. Thousands of alerts were coming from Apollo's chariot at Bush Gardens. Yes. Like, uh, hey, guys, coaster. I think we have a problem at Six Flags. We got 96 calls from Superman the ride. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not great. Yeah. Well, guess what? They didn't fix it. I bet Fabio issue. wished that he had one of those oh, the when the bird hit his face on Apollo's chariot. Mm -hmm. That would have been a good alert. Uh, yeah. uh, my phone, is, my face is broken. Um, <laughs> hey, so I, gotta, they, <laughs> I feel like we got to inside baseball this for some of our younger listeners. Oh, true. So, so well, Fabio. First, first explain who Fabio is. Yeah. Fabio there was, was, there was a, a, a male model. Art guy. Yeah, yeah. Male model cover art for erotic novels. And yeah. he was Fabio was the number one guy. And so he would, he was such Very a ugly man, really. That, I mean, he was, big, he was like a big, <laughs> strong a features. strapping, a strapping yeah, strong man. Features. And right. he had long hair, long, long hair. And so he was such like a big erotic novel cover guy that he would go out to like, he was a celebrity. And so he was yeah. at Apollo's chariot when it was opened, I think at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. And a fucking bird hit him in the face on it's the big drop. The second most famous bird blowing up to Randy Johnson throwing <laughs> yeah. a pitch at a bird. It was like yeah. the you same say... thing as Randy Johnson's pitch that hit the bird. Yeah. Yeah. Level Incredible. level of yeah. model. He needed surgery, he, he, right? Or... Like he's on the level with Cindy Crawford in terms of model famous. That's how famous sure. of a right. model he's he huge. is. So famous in the nineties, yeah. yeah, huge. Absolutely. Um, well, guess what, guys? They didn't fix the issue, and now. Colorado Ski Town Emergency Services are fielding dozens of calls a day from iPhones and Apple's, Apple Watches of skiers that are really good at stopping at the bottom of hills. That If you know how to ski stop, they're sending 911 calls to little Colorado towns that have like six emergency crew total. Oh, no. Dude. And they're having to field every single one of these calls. it's too fast of a stop. That... You go from like 30 to nothing, right? Yeah. But that is so yeah. sick because, first of all, that's a move, by the way. It's called spraying. When you're on the yeah. when you're on the mountain and you pull up, what's well, like ice stop, skating, you do it right? on the on the ice rink too, right? And just spray all the nerds with your pow. But then you yeah. do it so hard that someone that my phone just my phone just called nine one one. That's how hard I yeah. that's how hard I stopped and sprayed. Exactly, you can have competitions it's an now. Emergency. You could have competitions, <laughs> spray competitions, and if you if you call if you got the cops called and the other person didn't, you won, right? Yeah, like, exactly. it's cool. It's cool until it gums up uh, the entrance line of your resort and you don't get fucking paid. <laughs> you don't well, care. It's, it's cool until care. the guy oh, yeah, that's... You, do, you definitely do. You don't well, care. It's, well, it's cool You're until the guy wolf. that's trapped on the mountain doesn't get rescued because the emergency crew of six total people are responding right. to bullshit calls. They're at a lodge. Yeah. Being like, why Bro, the fuck name, are the iPhone watches keep going off? Yeah. Your name is Jason. You have... Oakley goggles, bro, and you finger everything on the mountain. You don't give a yeah. shit. I'm spraying. I'm spraying everywhere. Um, yeah, apparently <laughs> trying to stop. Just pull the fire alarm. My uh, bad. <laughs> apparently, all these little towns are like, we have to service every call and take them seriously, even though we know that they're 99 percent bullshit. So wow, that's, that's great, horrible. Apple. That's great, Apple. And saving the best for last. One of uh, Russian and the world's richest richest men, Russia's and, and the world's richest men. I think he's the second richest guy in, in Russia, or he was. Pavel Antov, this guy, uh, he fell out of a third story window uh, in India over Christmas and his birthday. He went to India for his birthday, which happens to be on Boxing Day. I'm sorry, Irish Christmas, mm -hmm. the day after Christmas, right? And that guy 
fell out of a third story window. He happens to be involved regional in regional politics recently. He's the sausage king. He made his forch, fortune uh, yeah. in the sausage industry over there in Russia. And they pushed the sausage king out of a window. He's been speaking out against Putin and the war in Ukraine recently to the point they threw him out of a window. When are they going to learn not to do that? Yeah. He thought he was safe. You know, the sausage yeah. king. He had a, and he was even with a friend who's probably his bodyguard. He who, thought he thought his yeah. his skin was thick enough to survive, but this is case closed on the sausage king. Yeah, he's out of his case. Dude, he popped the Kremlin. Busted out of his case. The yeah. Kremlin needs to get a new hitman because, like, I mean, let's be honest, this is the work. Do, of, like, do they? Two the guy's dudes. pretty damn effective. <laughs> I mean, but he's just he's got one move. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. He's so quick. Like, it's beyond suspicious at this point. Well, but it's a get calling a new guy. It's a get calling a more card. creative yeah. guy. No, it's a calling card. That's it's like the wet bandits. He's like the wet bandits of dictators. Yeah. He, when he put, you know, when you, he I, kills when you're somebody, a killer, you don't want he poisons that. you. No, yes, you do. He, so everybody knows, but they don't know. So it, it, when, when he kills you, he pushes you out a window or he poisons your nutsack like he tried to do in Duvalny. Yeah. So he's either going to poison you in the nuts or he's going to push you out a window. If you if That's his calling card. Do you think you he know. like wears camouflage outfits to look like tall plants <laughs> like in the window. hallway? Like a plant. <laughs> like a potted <laughs> yeah. plant, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like always dressed up like the thing next to the window <laughs> in the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he never does. Like he, a lunch he carrier. Has <laughs> I wish he would get his hands dirty, but he's in the he's in the blood he, 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 antler he, blood pool. He, 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 <laughs> oh, shit. he paints well, like a wall him. facade on like a, on exactly. like a thin piece of plastic where the window. And is. he's wearing a shirt that has all the different colors: the wood and the and the green. And, everything. <laughs> and he comes out from the wall, and he's like, "Why Just is this wall on a window?" Through. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this guy did both of his calling cards because he <laughs> killed door. he killed Antov's friend uh, two days before, and that guy was found in his hotel room uh, surrounded by empty wine bottles. But he was clearly poisoned, poisoned. two days before by uh, the testicles. I bet if you check. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they're claiming Russia. Russia state media is reporting that um, the other guy Biad Biadinov suspected cause of death was a heart attack, while they're saying Antov's was probably. Him falling out of the window. It was probably the window. Broken neck. It's probably the, the fall. Football, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, man. Those, man. Are two. those are the two. Just put this out here for any young musicians. Great band name, Russian Windows. You're welcome. Mm. I, would, I would get it on socials now if it's available. Russian Windows is good. Uh, that's it's a good band name. Metal. Um, yeah. So, okay. It's from badass. all these... From oldies and goodies coming back around to a newy and Grady story that thankfully won't yet die. George Santos is back in the news as he has finally made his long awaited explanation to the allegations. He lied about every achievement in his life yes. that he claimed to have made. And you remember, he was like, just give me a week. Remember? Just let me get me through. Yeah. Let me get through just, Christmas. Yeah, just give me a week. Yeah, what, what did he figure out? He had good news, right? Oh, uh, so he didn't even need the full week, guys. And he clearly just wanted everyone to enjoy their families and the holidays and to not make things about him. It was Jesus's day, not George's, uh, and that's why he waited until Monday to come out and say, "Yeah, okay, I lied through my teeth." about every single one of those fake accomplishments. I never even graduated from college. I never worked at a big banking Wall Street type firm. And you, But you know what? It's not like I committed a crime. It's not like I killed anyone. So everyone just relax. Old Georgie's here to stay. Um, he just came out and said, fuck you. I lied yeah. about everything. What are you going to do about it? We called uh, it. We said yeah. this is how he would play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Hard factor. You, you got to stay ahead of the news with us, you know, because we, we've been telling you right. Like uh, He's not resigning. Here. Yeah, he did have it. no other that moves one. on the nose. Yeah. He could have resigned, but he didn't. Yeah. Want no, to no, no, no. There's a lot of people. No, Pat, a lot of people in other news media were saying a lot of stuff about what would happen and all this stuff. We were probably one of the few that said this is exactly what will happen. He's, he's going to admit it. He's going to say, paycheck. get over it. Yeah. 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 No, no way was? a liar like that is resigning. But yes, I agree. Uh, we did call it. What a what a yeah. hilarious turn of events. Also, yeah. since no, the last I mean, it's time just we... it's what was going to happen. The guy he's yeah. a pop like, like I said from the start. Politician is the best career for a liar to go into. Santos, it, it, baby. It, it just, it's just, that's the, politician or lawyer, that's it. Santos Those are is the, the two king. best careers for liars. Yeah, I'm a big Santos guy. I think people need to start getting on board. Uh, also, since the last time we talked about old George, he got called out for claiming to be Jewish in the past. George is not Jewish at all. He's Brazilian, we think. Um, and to cover <laughs> Santos? his- Santos? Yeah, to cut was his parents- Is his real with, name Santos? No, well, yes and no. He has he went by a different last name that might be his middle name. Santa George and Santos are two of his five names. Was that uh, what, was that when he, he was managing the JC Penny? He was managing a call center, yeah. And he went by a different he was like working at a call center and he went by a George 
long last name like Duradry. Right. Then, like, he Santos did for the election. Santos was just electable. for the election. He brought right, back Santos. Right. He had to leave the past behind. See, he's smart yeah. too. Also, another reason why uh, politicians is better for liars even than lawyers is because lawyers, you have to claim that you won't lie. As a politician, you don't even have to claim that you won't lie. You can just tell people that you will lie to them and still get elected. But get this. This is his best lie. It came out. So I guess in the past, he claimed to have been Jewish. So people like the Republican Jewish Coalition, um, you know, and everyone that cares about that type of thing with the politician being your Republican and Jewish, they were like, cool, that's great news. Uh, it turns out he's not Jewish at all. And when asked about it, he goes, oh, no, 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 no. You misinterpreted me. I meant I'm Jewish, not Jewish. Oh. Like, I like their culture and I'm frugal, but nice. I'm not. <laughs> Great spin zone. I'm Jewish. Wow. I'm Jewish, but not Jewish. No, uh, his you must could me. be considered Jewish. He could have. How? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He could have gotten Druish. Uh, right. But yeah, that was a better move. It's pretty Smart. damn good. Uh, it's good. Now the Republican I've got slightly yeah. curly hair. Yeah, exactly. I like I like I like their whole culture. You know, I'm I, Jewy. Yeah, I'm Jewy. I said I'm, I'm Jewy. Jewish. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so that didn't go over well with like the Republican Jewish coalition who has now issued a statement saying they're banning him for life. Uh, he can't show up at any of their events ever oh, no. again. Um, well, he's not Jewish. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about right. it. He's not yeah, upset yeah. about it. Turns out that's probably the move anyways. Right. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think it's hilarious. banning him for life. Yeah. I think the right. more George Santos I get, the, the, the funnier it is. And I hope. Yeah, that. it's hilarious. It's, it amazing. It's, amazing. it's like it's like, it's like yeah. kicking Schumer out of the free Freedom Coalition. Right. It, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah. So far, so far, so good. If the Freedom not, he, Caucus. It turns out, if it turns out he was, you know, you know, he's committing violent crimes or sexual assaults, I'm going to get off the Santos train. But while he's just sure. shenanigans, when it's all shenanigans, uh, I'm, on, I'm on board. So what happens with Santos now is that like the parties won't trust him, obviously, because of what he's done. Right. But he can make so much money from just voting for lobbyists. Like, so he's just going to get taken out to dinners and like fancy trips and shit just so that he'll vote for whatever the hell the lobbyists want him to. And Santos is just going to be there for it. Oh, yeah, he's he's for sale. Every yeah. second. He's going to be he's cheap and easy. For sale. I'm your first yeah. stop, he's got all, Santos. He's got all ten office. toes. Come on in, lobby. He's got he's all ten toes me. dug in the sand, and I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that takes us to <laughs> the cream of the crop. Uh, and today's cream top story is is from right here in Austin, Texas. Uh, and as you saw at the beginning of the coffee, history is repeating itself often. Right? Some things are just constant. Like hopefully George Santos being in the news from now on. Hopefully that's a new one. Uh, but one thing that has been very constant for a very long time is that if you go to a Waffle House at night, you can expect to see a brawl. Uh, and that brawl involving usually involves like patrons and Waffle House employees who, uh, you know, end up getting trained in MMA just on the job, basically. Uh, and this one happened to have happened in Austin, Texas. There's some talk that it might have been in Georgia, but most of the people are saying it's Austin, Texas. There might have been multiple fights and other brawls that were in um like uh, Georgia as well, but this one is a video I'm about well, to play. Well, it is Chick Fil A. We're just getting whether it was in Austin, Waffle but it's a Waffle House, House fight. <laughs> but this is Waffle. let's just pl let's just play it. Never would happen. It's Chick -fil -A. it's one of the best ones. Um, did it not load? There it is. This here you go. Watch, just watch this shit. Bro, what the fuck going on, bro? Hell no, bro. I just want my waffle, cuz. What's what they doing, bro? Come on. Oh, oh, what's going down, son? Oh shit, you walling, guys! Oh, a, a woman got up on the on the. Oh shit, you are walling! Oh, oh shit! Oh, last okay. Oh shit! Oh shit, y'all walling! Y'all So it's it's now. Oh my god! Oh my god! In, in the oh, shit. There's a full-on brawl in, in the galley. It's a Royal Rumble. The manager's involved. There's a fire! There's a fire! Someone's shouting. <laughs> this is where, truly where America comes together. Everyone's outside clapping and filming. Yo, Wallen! Yo, They knew in the moment. They know. Yeah, they know it at this at this period of time. 
Oh, they're still swinging. Oh, they're still now they're just doing the chair. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, she caught the chair. Oh, the Waffle House employee is she not playing. Oh, my God, like, bro. Everyone's very impressed with that move. Oh, my God. If this isn't Austin, it's the one it's the, it's the one on 183. You're about to go to jail. Chill. But, but the, 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 the Waffle House oh, wait, look, employee. Nine, two, three number. That's not Austin. The, yeah, the Waffle House employee dominated the, the patron. The patron kept trying to attack her and then tried to throw a chair at her later on. The Waffle House employee uh, dodged almost all of the attacks, landed several punches of her own, and then caught the chair, as Mark said. No one knows where that brawl took place. It could be 923 area code. It could be 923 Austin, Texas. could be Georgia. Code, yeah, yeah you see, that's, it wasn't, the, it was 923 was the second three numbers, I think, not the um, uh, not the area code. But uh, yes, hmm. like Will said, the, the, the tiny little white cook little girl that was working back there is getting all the praise for the fight. She, uh, it looked like she did kind of start throwing things first, but yeah, when the lady jumped over first. the counter, she capitalized and threw like a six piece combo that was very impressive. And then the chair catch was the, uh, move of the, of the of the brawl just <laughs> yeah. taking the chair and throwing it down very for the uh, people that athletic. weren't watching yeah. any of that it was when it was when all the people had come outside and they all go ooh that's yeah. when she caught the chair it was impressive yeah. oh was very, shit yeah. a lot of <laughs> oh shits the guy the guy dropped about 30 oh shits in that <laughs> and it was a 30 oh shit video i'll give him give all him right so mark we don't soon. we don't know well here's what we do know if this guy at our baylor underscore 74 posted the original i can't tell but he did post it and he's from houston which means right. it, it, it that that it could definitely be austin. plays to austin yeah the now the, there's the conflicting reports saying it was christmas day in georgia but that video was virally mm. uploaded for the first time on december 22nd which is before christmas day mm. there's some confusion well, it doesn't really matter it, tomato to, tomato general, tomato right? waffle house at night it could have been anywhere you know right we're going to get to a second really fight this lightning round. And yeah. it, it, it's not just America. <laughs> That's your cup of coffee. So let's get to it. Beautiful. Who's next? Um, all right. Well, let's go to um, South Korea, where lonely men everywhere from Seoul to Busan are rejoicing because finally they will no longer wait in vain for the custom sex doll they ordered online to arrive. Um, you see, for decades, men would save up their hard-earned money, go online, customize a beautiful sex doll, pay thousands of dollars for it, mm. only for customs to seize her upon entering South Korea, leaving many men looking like, well, it says she arrived. I don't know, you know, where the looking at their DHL tracking and just being very angry that. Uh, so they had to sneak them in by boat. Listen, it was a, it was a whole thing. Yeah, it's smuggling for sure. Yeah. They had to smuggle in sex dolls. There was they, they were smuggling in well, sex dolls. Well, they had to be made there. Also, yeah. if if you were the South Korean uh, sex doll maker during this time, you were cleaning up. You you had orders out the door for years. You couldn't fulfill all the orders. Well, will the problem is, is that the re- everything. Well, no. So okay. So here's the thing. You Do got they, a bunch of. You think some of these guys dressed them up like a real woman? They're like, she's sleepy. <laughs> I mean, they might have taken on the flag on the plane. Flying, flying, yeah, they might have. Yeah. They might have tried. I doubt they got through security, but yeah, in desperation, they could have. So you got a bunch of tiny guys on Hold this little head, peninsula. Honey. You got a bunch of tiny guys on this little peninsula. Well, by the way, five seven, the average height of a male male South Korean. Um, and I don't know, you know, that's that's tough enough. But now their sex dolls are being seized, and it's not because they have a law. They had a law against it. It was um, because it went against some weird clause about morality. And it's, quote, uh, it would harm the country's beautiful traditions and public morale. So um, that's why they were seizing these sex dolls, thousands of them. And like you said, but Will, to your point, South Korea, the private morale, the pre the reason that, that, that they were importing so many is because South Koreans don't know how to make sex dolls for shit. Um, Here's a couple of them that they look like they're just they're just trash. Um, So basically they could only get that. In South Korea, yeah, they were they 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 were just which is awful. What Wes is showing uh, us pictures of is just mannequins. It's just like right. giant Barbie dolls. Yeah. Well, I mean, hard I don't, plastic. I don't. I haven't yet owned a sex doll. I'm not ruling it out, but I mean, why aren't there mouths open? Yeah, wouldn't you even, want to shove a cock in there? Even think, rubber. Looks no, like they could expand. Mark, it, I think that's it, part of like, the appeal. Did you did you ever hear about the Tylenol murders? It, like you want a tamper proof seal until. Okay. You but it doesn't it even look like they have the option to move their mouths open. Good point, Pat. I want them sealed, but but I don't think those dolls have mouth sucking abilities. I mean, Mark, no, that one, me they're trash. trash. Close, Close your mouth. One is a little Close your mouth. That's a tough. That's a tough scene. Wes. Close your mouth. Now try to force fingers inside of it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nice try. No, no, no. Uh, whisper in your own ear. <laughs> um, Do you feel it growing? Yeah. Easy so down. believe it or not, upon learning um, that their sex dolls were seized by customs, they marched their little asses down to uh, courts and sued customs to free their sex dolls, but rescuing them from smelly storage facilities like, you know, like little knights in shining armor um, and uh, only to go home and fuck their dolls, you know, like something out of a horror film, probably. Um, just an absolute nightmare. But um, as of Monday, after years of rescuing sex dolls from customs warehouses, South Korean men can rest easy knowing when they push the button to order their custom sex doll on that glorious day, it will come to their house instead of being seized by customs because now With the, the customs, yeah. yeah, they will, um, they are not going to seize real life sex dolls anymore unless they look like kids, which can be confusing for, you know, okay, what okay, South hold Korean on, hold on one second. Day. Hold, hold on, on one second. South Korea. Right. Yeah, so I, small I, yeah, the I did a, I did a deep dive yesterday. One of my favorite podcasts covered this story. You, you said South Korea, mm -hmm. South Korea. They, they didn't let them in because they, they some sort of tradition that they have. Some sort of yes, you know, morality okay. and it would harm just, just, public just morale. Know, literally, the worst child pornography Traditions. bust in 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 the history of child pornography took place in 2019. The, there was a piece of shit, like the dirtiest, nastiest, most horrible shit you could even imagine, being run out of South Korea. A 21 year old kid running this horrible, like just evil shit. He got two years. Yeah. He got two years mm -hmm. for, for running it. Two years. Mm -hmm. Every, the you US say, people that were using. Did you say you listened to this on a podcast yesterday, yesterday. when you missed our Boxing Day episode because at, you forgot night, about it? Last night. Last night. <laughs> you listened to a podcast instead of doing one yesterday. Late last night. <laughs> Got we're it. a day ahead. Well, that okay. was we're a day we did ahead that at one p.m. Mark. That's a little <laughs> right. early. Got it. That's a little oh, early. Right. All, that early. I, all that I knew is that Wes was going to Avatar. That's all I knew. Yeah. All right. I didn't. We know. both went we to did. Avatar. We liked it. We that, liked was, it. that was that was that's that's what you're going. Yeah. Um, however, as of Monday, like I said, did you Mark can now Avatar? get all the. Yeah. What's yeah? We both went to Avatar. That's good. I know. I'm it was really. It was really. Anyway, I know you agree with your back with your backward ass laws. <laughs> anyway, like I said, you can buy all the sex dolls you want there, but the imported ones were banned. And now, um, unless it looks like a kid, you can you these guys can order all the sex dolls they want um, from I'm the AP. Some girls West, Come some on, ladies. she has a mustache. What kind of kid? They look like five feet over there. Yeah. Some ladies yeah. are excited about this too, Wes. There's, right. the, there's been there's been oh, some yeah. there's been some South Korean women who have been waiting to get that sex machine. And now it's finally coming. Yeah, they, yeah. Got, they can pull the guy off their leg that he's been humping their leg all day. Yeah. Fuck well, them. they're so, also about to just dominate on South Korean OnlyFans, probably. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the streets are going to be cleared. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> traffic's <laughs> traffic's going to be low. Um, so they uh, they said they have over a thousand sex dolls in their warehouses as of now. And now they're going to face lawsuits for compensation by importers because <laughs> everyone knows that if a sex doll sits in a year warehouse for two years, no, no humidity Val control. Yeah, no. that supple silicone <laughs> vagina goes to shit. Um, it's a veritable so. army. We got an yeah. army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's guys just waiting outside yeah. the gates. Yeah. Let it's me like get Black, to mine. It's like Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> the the oh. South Korean president. <laughs> was it's like PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation yeah. 5 just came out again. Yeah. Yeah. The president was going in there and like checking to see how big the pile was getting, smoking cigarettes and getting nervous. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna I have know to she's unleash in there. it one day. Yeah. So I can smell yeah. the silicone. Yeah, so everything is. Uh, <laughs> he's calling out to her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, good news for men in South Korea. That's it. Um, you know, it's great news. Yeah, great news. Great news. Great news. That's great news, Wes. It is fantastic news. Great, great news. Uh, great news. And it's good to get some great news because we're going back to living on the edge of a lightning bolt. And I do not apologize for that. <laughs> Another right. storm. Another uh, <laughs> bad news lightning round. Uh, this time it's going to be west to east starting out in uh, on the west coast of the United States in Wes's favorite city, San Francisco, uh, with the Twitter files. Uh, and thanks to uh, listener Taco Lobster, he he uh, asked what uh, my thoughts were on this. Uh, and the newest set dropped on Irish Christmas, a.k.a. the first day of Kwanzaa every year. Uh, the holiday formerly known as Boxing Day, a.k.a. Tip Your Slave Day, December 26th. Right. Uh, and 
the new Twitter files. Get that files. out of here. Get Boxing yeah, Day out of here. Get Boxing Day. Boxing Day is ridiculous. How it's is like, it the most known one? You, it's, that's when they paid their slaves a Christmas bonus. Yeah. Right. It's either Kwanzaa. Don't forget to tip your slaves, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Irish Christmas. That's it. Get Boxing Day. Remember, your slaves anyway. are out there working hard this yeah. year for you. They, thanks, well, yeah, thanks for coming out. They, tip now, your we've all enjoyed our Christmas and we're <laughs> hungover. Let's give them something the day after. <laughs> now, it's, us, for, it's us first. <laughs> obviously, us first. <laughs> Let's see what's left. <laughs> and Boxing Day proponents, guys, they're just regifting, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Boxing Day proponents, uh, they say that that's servants, not slaves. But we, we all know what sure is code sure, yeah. for. Uh, anyway, a so, separate staircase in your house. We know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. you, do you have two staircase for them? having motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honey, honey, do you remember the sla- the servant's name? Do you remember? <laughs> Just shove the box yeah. somewhere on his paper. Oh. So. oh, what's this? Another staircase in your house? I didn't know about. Yeah. 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 Uh, Am I supposed to use door. those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you get a second staircase. All right. Uh, yeah. So. Get Boxing Day out of here. Get Boxing Day out of here. So this, but on December 26th, that's when the new Twitter files drop uh, on Irish Christmas, the first day of Kwanzaa, by at David Zweig, a journalist, presumably. Uh, and they show essentially that COVID, uh, you know, quote unquote, misinformation uh, tagging has been horribly abused uh, at uh, the Twitter post and Twitter account level of the system by anybody who has uh, the keys to Twitter's back end including, you know, thousands of Twitter employees and seemingly all government agencies all over the world, if they ask to get in there, to silence people who have opinions about COVID. Whether those opinions are true or false, they can just be tagged with COVID misinfo and silenced, which is like, whoa, no way that happened. Like, I mean, literally, I, could, I used to be able to tr- trigger it whenever I wanted to. Um, so, so, Willie, you're saying like, you're it was saying pretty it was obvious like what was, was going like a- on. It was like a loaded gun. Like if you didn't like something, you had the gun. If you were on their shit like, list, they pow. if you were on their right, if they were, if you were on their shit list, they just hit you with a this guy's a misinfo tagger and whatever other restrictions that were on your account. So um it was something that was obviously happening. Uh and you know, I think it was just like kind of like the Russian misinformation in the 2016 election. It was obvious to anybody who had their eyes open. A lot of people just choose not to pay attention. Uh and it's a practice. Uh, that has been rampant at Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Twitter under both the Trump and Biden administrations. Absolutely shocking stuff, guys, in Twitter files, uh, COVID misinfo edition. Yeah, this one so I, shocking. This one I thought was going to come out a little earlier because they said, <laughs> yeah, it's not shocking at all. Did you guys see, uh, right. I'm not trying to downplay it either, Twitter, you know, was, was, was just running their, running their own operation there. Not, not, really, uh, not really cool. But did you see what happened yesterday with Piers Morgan's account? No, no what they do Piers Morgan's account got hacked. Two related? Okay. It got hacked and they changed it to like Piers cunt was this <laughs> Pier- and he, he was tweeting out things like fuck the queen and like pictures of the queen like he was tweet- <laughs> like they were they were making him look real that's bad awesome. real real bad yeah. well that's more not fun. like that that's guy. more fun no I like no. I like uh, that's a more fun it's story on Twitter Twitter in, the Twitter files in general are just you know it's depressing it's kind of like like I'm saying it's like the Mueller report where all right. this like Russian hacking and of Google uh, trends and stuff that was going on during 2016. It's kind of it was happening in reverse after that. And it was obvious to anybody say, who was paying attention. So it's I'm slightly obvious. surprised yeah. in the scope it was happening, but not surprised at all that it was happening. Yeah, I mean, I mean but, it, was, but the, it was so blatantly clear that they were yeah. manipulating trends and, the, but, and, and, right. and, and, and the flow of information on, on, but, on social media and the Internet. Yes. The issue isn't so. that, right? Because it's it's just not black and white. This is what it's just not. Well, it black is. And it's white. censorship like, to me. That is to me that is a horrible. No, I under, I understand what you mean, Will. But what I'm saying is, it's just not black and white. That like, hey, if you do nothing, shit happens. If you do something, shit happens. Like that's yeah, so what they let's uh, call out everything with. COVID misinfo and, and uh, ban hammer. I'm not right. saying that that's Pat, right. Or, I, I'm Pat, not saying I don't. Right. I don't. I don't disagree with you that some information or some statements are are harmful, especially from certain influential people that that could be harmful. But the they played God on their own platform. I mean, I it's a private platform. It it's anytime. a private platform. I could trigger it anytime by right. just tweeting anything about COVID. Yeah, they went a little overboard. Uh, yeah, to, to put it to put it mildly, they went a little overboard. Well, it's like a network that has only one type of news. Like Fox has right wing news. Right. They were just MSNBC and social like, media. <clears throat> but yeah, but he, Wes, the thing is, it's Facebook and Google were also doing it. So all social media right. was the MSNBC of social media. So yeah. just here's what I think about, though. Mm-hmm. No matter what, if you're building a system like a network like Twitter or Google or Facebook, any of these networks, just the nature of programming is you're going to develop 
an algorithm. And people use that term all the time. The algorithm. Yeah, but the Pat, algorithm. this has nothing to do with but programming. You, it was it was a censorship staff at Twitter. No, I, it has nothing to do with programming. I, I, I know, I know, I know this specific. Issue. Nothing right. to do it's with the system, issue. the app. It has nothing to do with the app, like how the yeah. how the nuts and bolts of the database work. There probably how, is like, no perfect scenario, Pat. You're right, but in this one, there was like individual corporate people at Twitter were like we're right. doing corporate this. and and they were like working with you no, know I'm organizations. Not, I'm not them on the back. Yeah. It has nothing to do with code. Shit's yeah. complicated. That's all I'm saying. It, it allows the yeah, government not, to sneak yeah. it to 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 seep in and, like Will said, it's, censor Americans. It's, it's good. This shit under the guise of under the guise of of this bullshit. It's censorship. Pat, we gotta gotta it it's it, core. The internet in general, though, is not black and white. There's gonna be really harmful things you can find or say on the internet, regardless of private platforms, non-private platforms, whether it's Twitter or searching things. Like the internet's, you know. It's if it wasn't the place. government, it wouldn't be an issue. It is right. the government, so it is a First Amendment issue. Okay, moving yeah, on. Right. It's lightning round. A little further east in Las Vegas, a middle school mariachi band got left all the way east in Omaha, Nebraska for Christmas after traveling to Chicago for a mariachi clinic during uh, the Christmas storm. The mariachi <laughs> azul students what? from uh, Fremont Middle School uh, they got stuck in Omaha last week on December 22nd due to bad weather, and some aren't scheduled to get home until this Thursday, uh, December uh, what, 29th. So uh, oh, man. luckily for That'll the- That'll take uh, the wind out of your upbeat music. Yeah, mm -hmm. out of your mariachi Christmas your, sales. Yeah, your, your woodwind, your flute. It'll take yeah. it right out of your flute. Yeah, it'll suck the wind right Damn, out of what's it. What's, 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 a, what's, a, what's a Mexican woodwind? Damn it, hold on. You well, get sick well, of a mariachi band after about five minutes. It's a uh, el flute. Yeah, el. It's el flute. It's el just flute. a flute said in said in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> luckily for the mariachi band, uh, churches in Vegas and Omaha luckily uh, got them uh, rooms and shopping money for a makeshift Christmas uh, from Walmart. And you know they're staying in hotels until they get to fly home. Uh, quote: uh, We did get out of Chicago in time. But that is how we got stuck in Omaha, said Julia Avila right before she nearly accepted a ride from Gus Polinski and the Polka Kings back to yeah. Vegas from the Omaha airport. Could you airport. imagine the Polka Kings and the mariachi band getting together? <laughs> yeah. That would wow, be incredible. Woo. Talk about a clinic. That'll take the wind out of your ocarina. <laughs> yeah. Or your flout. <laughs> or mm -hmm. your flout. Yes. Uh, both of the excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, Mexican uh, music references, guys. Uh, but uh, Julia and, and the uh, mariachis, they decided against taking the ride with Gus and the Polka Kings, and they're just going to wait for the runways in Omaha to clear. A lot of them are already flying back to Vegas. Like I said, last ones will be home on Thursday. Man, traveling over the holidays. Yikes. Yikes. But they're, Always, they're high school kids, right? That's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. Especially for Blizzard. Middle school. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, middle school. Dude, yeah, so many of those sick. kids lost their virginity. So many of those oh. kids lost their virginity. They were in a hotel with their okay let's oh, move on i don't want to talk about that because that's probably stuff. illegal for me to say okay uh, back unclean in hands Julia's, the doctrine of yeah you know what happened all right you wow know what that's happened. that's first chair that's first chair hand right there <laughs> you know what happened on the, the trip. Yeah. yeah it was a great trip for everybody guys back in julia's home city of vegas there was a recent ufo sighting uh, at a strip club or a bar, uh, they claim it's a bar. I say it's a strip club. It looks like a strip club. You tell me what that's you just, think. That's just definitely lights from the stage. That oh, no, got what, look at this thing, Mark. Now above the, they say that this cloud. The aliens want to come down and check out the strip the club. Cloud is just hanging there, and and thanks to hard. These back asses are sending this out there. of this world. Yeah, they say <laughs> exactly. that's a UFO in the cloud. <laughs> This is like blinking light here. Get in, get in uh, no cover room before all the aliens get here. <laughs> yeah, Literally they abduct the girls. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> Those asses are out of this world. They're giving yeah. head so good, it's Martian head. Uh-oh, we've drawn yeah. some attention. <laughs> Did you think at all that that was a UFO? No. 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 no it didn't someone like someone put some spotlights up. No, that was someone trying well, to bring attention to that shitty strip club. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it happened at this exact strip club. Could be a UFO. Yeah. Come on down. It look. It did look fun. It did yeah. look fun. It, but I don't. I don't know if it was uh, a UFO. That's an impressive UFO cloaking technique with the clouds there and everything. Okay. Uh, over in more bad news. Over in Wausau, Wisconsin. Probably worst news of the day. East Bay Sports is closing for good at the end of this year. Uh, the 210 employee, uh, you know, employees who were left at this iconic sports warehouse company can no longer make it in this economic downturn that's definitely not a recession, according to the White House guys. But then again, they are a paper catalog order company, no retail at all. 
uh, who didn't get a good website <laughs> early enough in the game. So come uh, on, man. That, if East Bay yeah. can't make it, these guys, these guys were 15 years ahead of the game. They know, no. like, think about how little overhead these guys had. They could, they could be, they could be the dominant online go-to shoe and athletic clothing brand store online. They should they have be. been, they should have been, they should have been, but they weren't. And it definitely doesn't have anything to do with our struggling economy, Pat. Regardless, who could forget the feeling when the East Bay catalog came in the mail before football season and the school year started? Is that Terrell I'm, Davis? I'm showing the guys that that's the Terrell Davis. Oh. I remember ordering those cleats that oh, year. Man, uh, what you, was, that, was that a 2000 yard rushing that, year? Yeah, it was 99. Yeah, there's AI from two years later. I mean, the East Bay catalog, the cover. You, you always were looking for the latest gear every year before. Were school. those the must have backpacks back in the day, too? Jansport. No, you could no, order no there was a, there East was Jansport Bay. and there was one other one that was like, I thought it was e East Bay. Oh, there, you there could definitely order East, your backpack. Eastman East Bay, Eastman right. backpack was a different no, it was, thing. Was, that wasn't was East Bay. But anyways, East Bay for for they like did uh, have East Bay backpacks. Right. East for Bay. Generation X and like older millennials, East Bay was like it, yeah. everybody was looking at that catalog every year. I guess oh, kids now just look on their phones. But, it's like Blockbuster yeah. going away. It's tough. Right. It's tough. It's an end of an era. So people who know East Bay know it's an end of an era. Oh, okay. East, East Pack. East, East Pack. Yeah. You could East probably pack. buy yeah. both yeah. in the East Bay catalog, yeah. though. It's like every dude's back to school was East Bay. Okay. Uh, more bad news, guys. In New York City, uh, complaints about snakes have risen 69% in 2022 compared to 2021, with 22 cases of snake infestation reported in the city compared to 13 Whoa. last year. That's a lot of clits. We all know now. That's 44, Mark. 44 snakes. Double it. That's oh, a, it's a hemi clip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might want to double it. So you got to watch yeah. out for snakes yeah. in the city. Oof. Thanks to Hard Factor Charles and the New York Post for letting us know about the bodega snake ep epidemic. And finally, guys, over in England, they've got a lot going on this holiday, like preparing for the implementation of digital ID along with the rest of Europe and Canada, Gattaca style. You know, we've talked about stuff like that recently. That's what's going on over there. And also, uh, maybe some people are a little upset with that and whatever else is going on because uh, they're actually dealing with axe attacks, too. Uh, like this one. That, that was, yeah, those people must be pretty upset. Pretty upset to do an axe attack. This yeah. one that was caught on CCTV in uh, Ilford, East London, over the holiday. It was late December 23rd after Jeez. the bars, presumably about 1230 a.m. And a bunch of drunk dudes are causing a scene at a bus stop. One guy's going nuts throwing a traffic cone at the bus stop. Uh, and then eventually, fellas, you'll see the cops show up, uh, see this guy who's like, you know, he's, he's talking shit to the bus stop, throwing traffic cones at it. And he comes back. He's talking more shit. Oh, here he gets it. another traffic cone. Here he goes. Watch. He's going to Where's the guy with the axe? Stop. Okay, here's the cops. Here's the cops. Before mm -hmm. he can throw the second traffic cone, mm -hmm. the cops grab him. And uh, traffic cone man's friend comes sprinting in with an axe. Says, y'all oh, better oh, ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and watch the taste. Watch the taste. Ooh, oh, face first, face first to the fucking pavement. Stiff body, tased, boom, into the streets. It was incredible. Axe attack in East London. Uh, that the idiot tried to attack four cops with an axe, and they just tased him <laughs> immediately. Yeah. He knew he wasn't uh, going to get there, bro. Be no. Because it's on silent, I'm just going to go back to that tase real quick so we can see it. One Yeah, take a look at him. Here drop. he is. Here he comes. Boom. Oh, he got his hands down. <laughs> he got his hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in with the axe. I Cops think it was get him in the sight. He got his hands down. <laughs> yeah, well, he's lucky. I'm saying he he, he might have his teeth. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He may have his teeth. Yeah. Ooh. He was trying to show his allegiance. Uh, he knew he, he wasn't going to swing that axe. One yeah, of the it was best. very unathletic swing of an axe. Here yeah. I it come. Was. Yeah. The kid had a man crush on the on the uh, traffic cone thrower, and then he ran in with an axe to try that to was save his, him from the cop. That was his buddy for sure. He looked up to mm -hmm. that guy. And yeah, found, so found an axe somewhere. It was fantastic. So yeah, axe rude. attacks, while bad news, at least this one was very hilarious. And this bad news lightning round of the two ends hilariously. So that's good. Beautiful. There's good as it gets it. for two bad news lightning rounds, right? Do, 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 do. Actually, it wasn't that bad of news because it didn't happen to us. Right? That's yeah. true. Well, that's axe right. attacks, though. That's right. In general, <laughs> in general, when axe attacks are going down, you're thinking to yourself, this isn't a good time. This is a bad time. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure Fox got all the way down uh, the ladder to when Axe attacks in the 90s. When uh, it's a well, it, it's a good rhyme scheme. Yeah. Oh, when Axe, axe attacks. attacks. Yeah. Um, 
Axe guys, stacks on the rise? Yeah. Double question mark? Yeah. That's a I'm great headline. <laughs> uh, better check it out. Um, here's a fun fact. Did you all know that um, Indianapolis has a canal that runs right through downtown? You guys know that? Like a river? Yeah, it's it's no, it's like a canal. Like it's like similar to like San Antonio's Riverwalk. Yeah, it's 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 dammed oh, okay. from a river. Yeah, but it's a canal. Right. So like um, the river walk. walk. So for people that aren't familiar with that, it's like a, so it's like a dammed creek that stems off a river. It, it, it looks. It could be like a lazy river if they it's put, a canal. Yeah, it's like, like a lazy like river. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who's not familiar with the San the San Antonio Riverwalk. It's world famous, but okay, dude. Um, no, lots of people don't know what the fuck the San Antonio Riverwalk is. Well, they better ask. They somebody will. Um, it does, <laughs> guys. <clears throat> in Indianapolis, they call it the Canal Walk, and um, it's been part of the Indiana Central Canal uh, for a long time. When it was dug in the 1800s, uh, it was built in an effort to facilitate in an effort to facilitate interstate commerce. And today, the refurbished Canal Walk. Uh, which stretches north from White River State Park to 11th Street, serves the downtown community as like a waterside promenade for walkers, runners, bikers, and sightseers. Um, there's a bunch of paddle boats in there. And the canal area itself is home to more than six different species of turtle, which is pretty cool, oh, right? I thought you were going to uh, say homeless person. No. That's snapping nope. turtles. Nope, nope, just turtle. Um, also, guys... <laughs> Canal Walk is home to the probably world homeless Indian. person too, though. It's at yeah, least ten yeah. different species. I mean, you you're gonna it. set the varieties and the species, Wes. I don't want to get into that. Well, there's that's, no, that's, there's that's only one species because it's because it's humans. But I get what Wes that's is what saying. I was thinking, like, well, style. That's what I was thinking. Styles, styles. That's what I was he trying means to go with. with styles. Yeah. He means to say that's styles. To... Okay. He didn't. Un- he doesn't know the science. You know. He doesn't right. know the. It's not his fault. That's not racism. Races. He meant to say races. I meant to say races. Quick, Wes, what are the six races? All right, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, the, uh, Stick a finger in your mouth. <laughs> the canal area. Uh, they got the turtles down there. They got the Indianapolis Zoo down there. And uh, the canal walk area is uh, home to the NCAA Hall of Champions, which makes total sense when you think about the storied history of collegiate sports in Indianapolis. After all, Indianapolis is the headquarters of the Horizon League Conference which is home to powerhouse Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis. That's the full name. Yes. And that's about as good as it gets in college of sports course. in Indianapolis. What's the uh, anyway. free throw percentage there? High? Indianapolis. It's so pretty high. It's high. high. So high. Yeah. Indianapolis now, as, as somebody who used to work in the state contracting world, I knew what all state capital cities were like to live in. And I will tell you this, that Indianapolis was not on – the more desirable of no like, of, of the list no no it's true um yeah. i've never met a but colts com- fan in my life to be actually now that i think about it never met oh, a good Col- i mean i, yeah, I hear it's a great city fly out, fuck the colts <laughs> i've never met a colts fan ever it's always i like hear it's a great city doesn't. i hear it's a great city but i don't think they leave it wasn't <laughs> when people could pick from a list it wasn't usually on the top yeah that's true no I, um no but but guys come summertime if you went to the canal walk, you'd you'd get to see the sights and sounds that the canal walk has to offer. That that's a picture of it in the summertime. But in the wintertime, guys, there isn't much to do. Uh, the average temperatures in December in Indianapolis are lows of 24, highs of 39. Pretty chilly. It doesn't get much better in January or February. Um, one activity you can do on the river walk if it gets real cold, um, cold enough for the canals to free o- freeze over. Is un- unauthorized ice skating. You can do that. Um, oh yeah, that's cool. you, get, you yeah. get arrested for that though. Ah, but look, no one is down there, Mark. So we're no. gonna catch him. Uh, exactly. Um, and you're also on ice skates. It's like, uh, it's like, yeah, yeah. you're fast. It's like stealing you a skate back. away. Mm-hmm. You'll never uh, catch me, coppers. <laughs> I'm gonna until skate I hit the forever. sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, until until you just radio someone to come get me when I get on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like being a rollerblading street. villain in San Francisco. <laughs> I hope this uh, canal never ends, guys. Some even say when the canals get a solid enough freeze, you could drive a mid-sized sedan on the canal just like a road, no problem. No one, but no one says that. Well, some people say that in Indianapolis, <laughs> but it, it has to be really, really cold. And okay. it has to be cold for a couple of days. You need at least like four or five days of single digit to max teen temperatures before you get uh, what you really want from a freeze. Car ready. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's car ready. Before you want to- 
<laughs> test out the track. You basically need the canal to be <laughs> solid ice to to drive on a Pre- yeah. drive a car with. But you, yeah, like okay, so f- let's just say for example, Christmas Nearly night solid of this ice, year, like a few feet of solid ice. You know. Oh yeah, uh, totally, and, you, and, and and that's days of cold. Like just days, just take for example, days. Christmas night of this year, right? Uh, it would have been pushing it. Let, let's take a, at this graphic. Take a look at this graphic I made. Uh, chronicling we'll Indianapolis we- weather leading up to Christmas night. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, we'll see, mm-hmm. 20, 20th and 21st and 22nd really threw a wrench in things. Agree. Uh, yeah. so you, you had a high Wait, of highs of 44? Yeah. Dude, Dude, the 20th, no, yeah. There's no, the, everything's melted. The, are, you can't drive a, a car within. But, but hold on, look at the 23rd, no, but look, 24th, the 23rd 24th. That's 25th is going to be car ready. Yeah, 25th no, is the third two day. Two days? Two days? Of, three no, days. Guys. Three days. Two days no, guys, of hard. 25th night. Christmas night no. is you need car ready. You're going to need, need four or five four. days to get ready for a car of freezing. Four yeah. or five days. Uh, on the 20th, it was um, I would, I would do it with I'm you, Wes. I'm telling you. Yeah. Wes, I'd try it with you. Why not? Through a third night? No, because well, I'm telling I, you, the ice, the ice, it freezes slower than you think. And un- it's all it's all a slower process than you think. It freezes slower and it unfreezes slower. I don't you have time have to get out there. Time. I got to get, Wes and I got to get our sedan out there. What are you, an ice quicker. expert? Yeah. Well, I believe in a place with a lot of ice now, so I see it all the time. Will really knows, I mean, uh, of this podcast, this half, me and Will actually know what it takes. We to live in get the, ice. the ice. It, it's yeah, multiple days of freezing. Ice. Right. The right. issue was the three or four days of 40 degree weather. And, and yeah, sure. It got cold, pretty cold. The two or three days leading up to Christmas. And maybe the 26th, you, you could have chanced it. Maybe. maybe. I mean, ice skating <laughs> maybe on Christmas night, but definitely. Oh, not you're ideal. ice skating all day. Yeah, but not n- not ideal conditions to take the old American made automobile. Okay. On the to Kant Y2 Winter Road. Uh, mm-hmm. But don't tell that to 33 year old B and Kia Gleason because she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know about the four day thing. She right. doesn't know. And unfortunately, guys, she wasn't driving a Kia because this canal be looks icy. Yeah. <laughs> she was driving a Chevy. <laughs> but let's go to a quick angle of 320 something ice skaters who were testing out the ice when they saw B and Kia breeze past Uh-oh. them doing a cool 30 miles an hour going the wrong way <laughs> down a frozen river. Uh, here we <laughs> here we go. Yeah, that was He's skating under shit. an overpass. <laughs> That's so ballsy. Three Three days. Are the wheels not turning? Is she just breaking the whole way? Yeah, she just sliding. She knows she's on ice. Just sliding. Yeah, she knows she's on ice, but she's sliding the whole way. She's just sliding down the road. Yeah, look, her her brake lights are on. Uh, She's sliding all the way. Uh, Thawed down there. Thawed. Uh oh. Did she die? What well, happened, Pat? All right, look, guys. That that was one angle. Uh, let's let's take an angle. Uh, let's take a look at an angle of B and Kia uh, shot by a confused and lonely Christmas night canal walker. This makes me sad. This guy's up. Has she been closer to where she? Kia. Okay. Like her she, name's she, she probably. Oh, there she goes B and oh. Kia. Oh, she's. Oh. She's gonna sing. Why are you zooming out, you shitty cameraman? Yeah, that cameraman sucks. Okay, so she, there she goes. He was like, he, he was worried. Do we have one of the okay, crash let's, pat? Let's now take a look at the aftermath. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> There's the cars in the water. <laughs> yes. She, she sunk to the track? bottom. So, so she's so alive? She, so she's no, dead. There's no way she's alive. You see the tracks? Yeah. yeah. No, she oh, got no she's not dead, guys. She's not yes. dead because yes. of the, the work of some very yes. uh, brave and quick acting bystanders. Nice. Leaped into the icy, <laughs> frigid, cold Ooh. water and Polar rescued plunge. being Kia. Holy uh, shit, pulled, look at that. Pu- pull her out of her, her vehicle. Um, mm. she, she told firefighters that her GPS took her onto the canal. Uh, uh, yeah, fair, that's fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> no, she was joyride. That, that was super fun. Oh, uh, it looks so fun, though. But, I mean, she didn't know. She almost died. It was not there. fun for her. I, I, I'm willing to wager that she thought she was on a road. Uh, she she you think so? at first about, I think I think at first she, she thought she was. Yeah. She went about six. You think blocks. this is a pure accident? Yeah, this is a slippery road. Um, yes, <laughs> her car broke through the broke through the ice at, four, at the four hundred block. <laughs> Why can't I street? drive on this road? <laughs> well, time out. Don't you think she could have been drunk? Yeah, she was hammered, Mark. Absolutely yeah. hammered. So like, yeah, when you're hammered, that looks like a road. 
Yeah, it, it does. does. It I mean, looks like it, it does look like a real. Uh, yeah, this, there's a hundred percent chance she's like going under tunnels and shit. She thinks she's doing the right thing. Yeah, but what oh, what the hilarious. drop to get into that thing be like though? It's not like there's a ramp look, for a car. Bad. It doesn't look that bad. In between the trees, I guess. Well, yeah, she's so, so lucky. She drove it between the trees. She went so between the trees, <laughs> and she was like, "Whoa, that was close." Whoa. Yeah, she turned in between the she... trees. Yeah, <laughs> or between trees. Like, 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 like light posts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, light posts. She was saying yeah. that it was the, so. There, there's a playscape. The, there's a cult. It's called the Colts Playscape or the Indianapolis Colts Playscape. And I bet there's there's like probably like a boat. I just drove through the playscape to get on it. Yeah. Um, police were called at about 11 o'clock with reports of someone driving down the river. Um, and uh, she was absolutely <laughs> drunk, just messed up, absolutely yeah. hammered drunk. Uh, Hopefully that helped her people, survive, too. A little warm. Dude, a bunch of people. Well, a bunch of people dove in and saved her ass, man. That's awesome. like, like, you know, her windows yeah. were closed. Uh, well, the, I told uh, you, I've heard it's a good city. Just well, you wouldn't well the being drunk. Yeah, nice people there. The being drunk yeah. would like prolong your death but it would make you not want to get warm quick enough and then you'd have hypothermia so she'd be like i'm fine like gets out of the right. cold freezing yeah, and then eventually the after effects i don't need to change yeah i don't need to change that's how everyone else, is, walking everyone home else from is like freezing <laughs> that's why people die walking home from bars all the time because they, they're, they're drunk they're, they're and hammered and yeah. don't think yeah. they need a jacket exactly yeah and they could be, be like here, wet uh, too, like beer spilled beer on yourself then walk home in the cold yeah that'll freeze that kid died keep it keep this night keep this in mind and and by the way, her name is it's not Bianca. It's like Bianca. It's Bianca. I promise you. Um, she had the opportunity to get away, but she must have been in shock because the bystanders pulled her out of the vehicle and got her into the hotel lobby, a nearby hotel lobby. Uh, That's good. And by the time cops arrived, there was no one in the vehicle, so like she could have <laughs> slipped out the back, honestly, <laughs> which would have been way better. Let's take it to the internet real quick, guys. Yeah. Uh, For her, Tina uh, Kepper says, "Quote." You can see tire tracks. She was actually driving on ice like a Canadian trucker. Holy cow. Holy she, cow. Loves she loves that Tita. show. Mm -hmm. She loves yep. ice truckers. Yep. Yeah. Damn. And, uh, Chris, Chris Van Gorp says, uh, poor tow truck operator. Said no one, Chris Van Gorp. <laughs> Yeah, that what is that Got even him. about, Chris? He's a tow truck driver. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> she could never do my job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's being be, be Kia is fine. She's gonna need a new car. I don't think insurance is gonna cover this one. Uh, hey, this story makes me think about it. what a bad rep tow truck drivers get. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to your tow truck drivers this year. I mean, she doesn't look out of sorts in her booking photo, to be honest with you. She looks and pretty this good. Reminds driving. me. It's, it's crazy. Well, ice ice water will sober you up pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, for having yeah. just plunged into uh into the water. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, let's get the wheel uh, up. Let's huh? get, the, get the wheel up. Is let's everyone on tomorrow? Or what's mm -hmm. the Okay. Okay. Right. Is it up? Is it up? Wheel o'clock. Here we go. Thursday's coffee. What kind of music is this? This is disco. Go. What? Why? Home Depot. I just. Uh, You're ripping off the band. Why are you, are you taking it? I, I spent, I spent doing, uh, 12 minutes uh, last week ripping Patreon the other Patreon song and putting it in. The, oh, God. What song? What song I spent called? 12 minutes ripping the, the, the country bumpkin song so we could mix it properly in our audience. Now he's throwing the disco song. Yeah, I didn't understand why you did that, knowing that I was just going to change the songs. Around. Yeah, so I, I, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, Wes is definitely going to change this. Why is he making a thing for it? Like, there's no because way. I didn't understand saying, why you did that. Have it sound weird at the end of the. Okay, okay whatever. Yeah, Mark, you're on coffee. We'll rip the band aid off. Rip it off. There we go. That's the end of the bet there. So I'm Oh, nice. Yeah. Right, Mark's back That's on coffee. A, seven out of eight coffees for me. <laughs> <laughs> been a th I've been a caffeinated uh, boy. That's right. Oh, man, it's a, it's a Wednesday night uh, taping, so Thursday podcast coffee, too. Wes uh, finishes it with a, coup, with a coup de gras. Yeah. Correct. That is closed. Yep. That is honor. Oh, Take yeah. Out, um, sorry. Get out there, guys, and have a, have a great fucking day. I can drive my way out of this. <laughs> I just need more canal. Patreon.com slash hard factor.